Hello and welcome. My name is Mike Bellinger. I'm a field service tech for RL Detman, and I'd like to welcome you to today's edition of Service Tip of the Month. Today, we're on location looking at some Wessels bladder expansion tanks. Wessels has come up with a innovative way to detect when a bladder has been compromised. This new bladder technology uses a sensor which detects when the bladder has been compromised and this site right here will turn red if it is, becomes compromised. So this is Wessel's new, what they call Westview monitor system. And you can see in this one that we have it removed. So this is what it looks like when it's brand new. And if you turn this around and look at the back side of this, there is some, some red dye inside of there. So when the bladder becomes compromised, that dye bleeds through to the, the white styrofoam there and turns that gauge red, the sight gauge. And then you know that something's wrong. So if you think that there is a problem with the uh, bladder inside of the expansion tank and that glass has turned red, what you want to do is you want to take, remove this cover, and then there's the Schrader air valve right here, which will allow you to air down the tank. You don't want to remove this, this gauge glass without uh, getting all of the air out of the tank. The, the core in the Schrader valve is removable, and so you're gonna wanna bleed that air down until the gauge here reads zero PSI. You also want to shut off the valve to the tank and open up the drain valve to get all of the water out of the tank. Once you have the water and the air bled down, you'll be able to carefully unscrew this gauge sight glass from the tank, being careful because the tank could be filled with water. If you remove it and there is no water in the tank, but that gauge is still red, then you can simply order a new a replacement uh, sight glass and replace it. All right, so now that you've replaced that gauge glass with a new one, now you can put the valve core back in if you removed it and you're going to need a compressor. You're going to use the, uh, the Schrader fitting right here. You can air up the tank or in the case of this one right here, that's quite a large tank. While it was aired down, I took the opportunity to remove a plug and install a valve. That way I could put a, uh, an air chuck there and use a compressor to fill the tank up. So once you get the tank filled up to the right air pressure, the factory uh, pre-charge pressure is 40 PSI, but on the back of the cover here, there's some directions on what the proper pressure for your tank may be. I also give you a little warning not to turn the water on and fill the bladder with water without any kind of a air charge in there or may have a, a, a bladder failure. So it's all aired up, everything's back to normal. You can put the cover back on so you can still see the, uh, the gauge sight glass in there. I'm gonna come back over and open up the valve to the, uh, to the tank. Uh, be sure to close the drain valve before you do that, but Open up that drain, that fill valve very slowly. Fill that bladder up with water. It should fill up to your system pressure. And then you're good to go. 